been slacking. Somebody, please help. Help me. Seriously. This is, this is, this is terrible. There's no excuse, okay? We are in quarantine. We're in the house. There's no excuse as to why my hair looks like this. What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Selena, and I'm back with another video. If you are new to this channel, please do me a huge favor and subscribe to this channel. Turn on your post notifications so you can be notified the next time I post another video. Give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment in the comment section down below and hear tips you got from me because your girl really needs some. You guys, by the title of this video, you already know what it is. I'm about to do a hair video where I'm about to wash my hair and detangle my hair and comb it out and put it in like I'm gonna put it in two braids like I normally do once I get it all combed out and stuff like that so you guys stick around because this is crazy I haven't combed my hair out in like two or three weeks I don't know how I'm gonna get this all out but we're gonna give it the best shot we can um, what I'm about to be using, what kind of shampoo and conditioner I'm about to be using, Mane and Tail Shampoo and Conditioner. This is a product that I've been using for a long time now in my hair. This is $5.99 on it. It's been working for me. When I choose to do my hair, don't let this fool you. I just been, this is just, this is a result of pure laziness, you guys. Pure laziness. There's no excuse. For why my hair looks like this but we've got to wash my hair and get it all combed out and stuff like that so let's get into the video so hopefully you guys can see me good enough hopefully at a good angle get an angle okay i'm gonna do it in the kitchen so you guys can see me doing it guys it's been a long time since I a couple of weeks since I combed my hair out got my mane and tail shampoo Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm just putting conditioner in my hair. I put it in a time lapse so you guys can see me doing it fast.
making sure I get my scalp and my roots really good, scrubbing it in and getting it all up in there, getting good lather, getting it nice and soft and just working that all up in there, baby. Just getting it all up in there. So because I didn't comb my hair out in like two weeks, my hair was like falling out a little bit. I don't know if this happens to anybody else, but like, what do you do? Comment down below. What do you do with the hair when you're in the shower? Do you just like stick it to the wall in the shower? Because that's what I do. But at this point, um, I'm just putting my hair in a bun so it can marinate, basically, so it can soak and just so it can let the conditioner sit in there so when it's time for me to comb it out, it'll be easier. All right, you guys. I got it all washed, I got it all conditioned, I put it up in a little bun in a hair tie, and I'm just going to let it sit for a couple of minutes, and then I'm going to go in the bathroom and comb it out. You guys, quick story time. I shall be ashamed of myself, okay? Because like three or four years ago, I'm going to like post exactly when I did it, but like three or four years ago, and I'm going to post a picture, like insert a picture here. But a couple of years ago, I was going through like in the beginning of a mental breakdown. And for some for some stupid reason, okay, I was overweight. Number one, I was about 190, almost going on 200 pounds. And I cut my hair. I cut my hair all the way to like right here, to like the middle of my freaking shoulders, ears, right here, really, really short. You guys. It just took me all this time to get my hair to finally grow back. And it grew back even longer than what I had it before. It grew back to like down the middle of my back. And there's just no excuse as to why I'm not keeping my hair done or combed out or anything like that. It's just pure laziness to be honest. So all 2021, no more excuses, no laziness with my hair, okay? I know there's people who wish they had long hair, long, thick, beautiful hair like this, and I, here I am with long, thick, beautiful hair, and I'm not taking good care of it. So we're gonna we're gonna start taking care of my hair a little bit more. So if you guys got any like suggestions or ideas on what to do with my hair, because I don't know what to do with all this. To <laughs> be honest, I don't know what to do with it. I usually just keep it in either two braids or that's it literally just two braids or when I you know keep it combed out I put it in the bun it just not I'm not bothering it I'm not touching it it's growing back longer it's thicker it's more fuller from when I did cut it you guys I looked at like straight up Dora's border with with that just couldn't stop eating or something like that I was huge but anyway so we're just gonna let this soak let it sit for a little while I could, feel it, I could feel it marinating. I needed this because my scalp was super dry. Now we're going to comb it out and then I'm going to go show you guys what it looks like after it's done being combed out and detangled. Shout outs to Mane and Tail. Mane and Tail for putting my hair back to how it needs to be. Nice and combed and detangled. This could have been a uh, um, thumbnail but whatever. So anyways, stay tuned guys. All right, you guys, so I'm back. I let it soak up a little bit, let it set, let it marinate, you guys. Oh my God, this is gonna be so hard to do. Seriously? Never mind my daughter in the background. You guys. I got a wide teeth comb. Shout out to my girlfriend for putting me on to this. Cause that is a miracle worker. You guys, why did I let my hair get like this? I was doing so good. Not letting my hair get like this. I was doing so good. But once I get back into a habit of combing it out, I usually stay like that. So maybe I'll do like a video next time. I'll look up some styles to do. What curly hair and do them. So I'm just gonna brush it out, start separating the hair. Start 
start brushing it out while the shampoo, while this conditioner is in it. Detangle my hair. And then after, I um, get it detangled. Me and my daughter are gonna take a bath. And then I'll come back and do a um, braid it. Or I'll probably just put it in two braids first and make it eight out of those. So I can just keep this video going over it. You guys, this is terrible. Whoever let, like, this, this is, I can't blame anybody. It's like, once I get it, oh, it's all in the middle. All the tingles is in the middle. Look at my hair. This is made in town right here, y'all. This is low key like a review for me and tell. Cause if it wasn't for me using that, anytime my hair gets like this, every time I use that product, my hair gets detangled instantly. It gets restored fast. It goes back to how it's supposed to look. It's natural, shiny, lustrous, curly, thick hair. It doesn't look dry, it looks shiny, it looks healthy, and it definitely helps my hair grow. Y'all need to get y'all some. If you got this thick, um, curly, like Puerto Rican people hair, my girlfriend has different type of hair too, and she uses it in her hair to be looking nice. It's a versatile shampoo and conditioner is the best way I can put it. Very versatile for different ethnicities. Doesn't leave your hair to what you need. Just right. And trust me, I've used a lot of different shampoos and conditioners. There was one point where I was couponing and I was getting all types of different hair shampoos and conditioners for like a dollar, sometimes 50 cents, sometimes quarter. And I was just so excited to use them all. So I went and tried all different types of hair shampoos and conditioners. I've used Suave Professionals, I've used Aussie, I've used Pantene Pro V. Um, the only thing I like about Pantene Pro V is their, um, like their deep conditioners type of stuff but other than that like their conditioner and like how me my fifth year feel it made it, it made it feel like weird it was just disgusting and the shampoo stripped out all my natural shan uh, oils but with main and tail I don't feel that way after I'm done rinsing it out and stuff it feels soft and it looks shiny after and I, I love that about a good, I love that about a shampoo and conditioner that it's, you can still have the, like your hair remains lustrous after you wash it. And instead of it taking from your hair, it, it either keep, like, keeps it how it's supposed to be without taking anything from it, if that makes sense. And by the way, this video is not sponsored. This is just like a little review type of hair comb tutorial. Look at it. For me combing it out. That's for me not combing my hair out consistently. And I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to be using this to comb it out, but ain't nobody got time. This does work, but ain't nobody got time for all that, okay? Ain't nobody got time for all that. You guys got a better way? Let me know. But I think what I'm gonna do for another video this week is, cause I'm gonna just keep on posting as much as I can. Like sometime this week I'm gonna do another video, like I'm gonna look up some different types of hair styles for me to do with my regular curly hair without putting any type of heat to it, like hairstyles. And I'm gonna give them a try and let you know how I feel about them. I don't. Ever since my hair grow back, like grow back, I've been trying so hard not to put no type of heat to it 
and I've been trying so hard not to straighten it or put any chemical or anything like that. I'm just washing it, conditioning it, combing it, putting it into braids, and leaving it so that my hair just grows. And they say the more wisdom you obtain, the longer your hair grows. So I think I've been doing pretty good in the last couple of years. I ain't out here looking like Dorothy Explorer anymore. And then I have this, uh, my, um, sauna suit tank top on. I did have on the waist trainer, but I ain't right here, so I'm kind of like, so too tight. So I took it off. But can you see how easy it's coming out? Like how easy it's combing it out? I still have the conditioner in. I'm just combing it out. So much easier. So much freaking easier. Look at that. It's just falling out, combing it out. to the part where it's all chunked up in the middle, that'd be hurt, it'd be hurt. It'd be hurting. Much better. I 
feel like a new woman. Y'all don't know. I had to shave my armpits for this video. My armpits was hairy. I had to shave my armpits. So I'm not about to be doing no video with my armpits looking like I got King Kong in the headlock. And then y'all gonna be roasting me in the comments.
Okay guys, so I put this the rest of this part in a time lapse. So I'm doing the same thing that I did on the other side of my hair. I'm just parting it and putting some coconut oil on my scalp and putting it all throughout my hair on my scalp. Then I'm gonna spray my hair again with the argon oil all over. Not putting too much, just a little bit. And then I'm also gonna put the argon oil lotion in my hair and run that through my hair with my fingers, make sure I get it good. Brush it through my hair so it gets into my hair strands and into my curls and stuff. Brushing it again with the soft brush to get away, the, like to brush down the flyaway hairs. Brushing it all down and getting it to how I like it so I can get ready to braid it again. And then after I'm done brushing my hair, I can grab three pieces of hair in the beginning and then I start doing my, my French braid on the other side of my hair. Braiding it all the way straight back, all the way to the ends. Thank you guys for watching so much. Till next time, peace, love, and grace. Bye.